Chapter 6 Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty hand, he will let them go. Because of my mighty hand, he will drive them out of his country. God also said to Moses, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, where they lived as aliens. Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the Israelites, whom the Egyptians are enslaving, and I have remembered my covenant. Therefore, say to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians. I will free you from being slaves to them, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty acts of judgment. I will take you as my own people, and I will be your God. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God, who brought you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians, and I will bring you to the land I swore with uplifted hand to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give it to you as a possession. I am the Lord. Moses reported this to the Israelites, but they did not listen to him because of their discouragement and cruel bondage. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go, tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the Israelites go out of his country. But Moses said to the Lord, If the Israelites will not listen to me, why would Pharaoh listen to me, since I speak with faltering lips? Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron about the Israelites and Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he commanded them to bring the Israelites out of Egypt. These were the heads of their families. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were Hanuk and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. These were the clans of Reuben. The sons of Simeon were Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shal, the son of a Canaanite woman. These were the clans of Simeon. These were the names of the sons of Levi according to their records, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. Levi lived 137 years. The sons of Gershon by clans were Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzziel. Kohath lived 133 years. The sons of Merari were Malai and Nushai. These were the clans of Levi, according to their records. Amram married his father's sister, Jochebed, who bore him Aaron and Moses. Amram lived 137 years. The sons of Izhar were Korah, Nephig, and Zikri. The sons of Uzziel were Mishael, Elzaphan, and Sithri. Aaron married Elisheba, daughter of Aminadab and sister of Nashon, and she bore him Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. The sons of Korah were Asher, Elkanah, and Abiasaph. These were the Korite clans. Eleazar, son of Aaron, married one of the daughters of Putiel, and she bore him Phinehas. These were the heads of the Levite families, clan by clan. It was this same Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, Bring the Israelites out of Egypt by their divisions. They were the ones who spoke to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, about bringing the Israelites out of Egypt. It was the same Moses and Aaron. Now when the Lord spoke to Moses in Egypt, he said to him, I am the Lord. Tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, everything I tell you. But Moses said to the Lord, Since I speak with faltering lips, why would Pharaoh listen to me?